In a world of magic and wonder, where even the smallest things can be extraordinary, an incredible adventure awaits. Meet Snow White, a girl with a heart as pure as the driven snow, and her seven loyal friends who are a force of nature. But be aware, a wicked queen will stop at nothing to claim the throne. A curse is cast, and a single bite could change everything. Snow White's fate lies in the true friendship of her prince. Snow White and the Enchanted Forest is coming soon to theaters. Disney invites you to a world where dreams come true. That's right! Now you can make your very own movies with the help of AI, and the best part is it won't cost you a dime. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create awesome Disney Pixar-style animations for free. I'll walk you through the steps to make cool images using a fantastic free tool and then turn those images into super cool animated scenes. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, you start by making a picture of the scene you want in your animated movie. Then, you can make that picture come alive and customize it just the way you want. Don't skip anything because I will explain all the details later in the video. For this video I wanted to make a Disney Pixar style trailer inspired by famous movie Snow White. So, I asked ChatGPT to make a trailer for a not yet existing Disney style animation movie. I also asked to write a script for the trailer, and it should be something related to Snow White. Remember you also need to ask, give scene ideas for each shot it creates, because this will help you in creating stunning images for your trailer. For image creations head on towards Leonardo AI. It's awesome because you can create up to 150 images every day for free. Now my goal is to make an animation that looks like it's straight out of a Disney Pixar movie. To do that, I'm using a 3D animation model. After that, simply copy the shot one, which was generated by ChatGPT and paste it in prompt box of Leonardo. For this prompt I don't want to use a snowy landscape, so instead of snowy landscape I simply replaced it with landscape. And as I'm making a video for YouTube, I'm choosing a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Now as you know we are taking reference from a famous movie Snow White, so for that, I would be using image guidance feature and upload a scene from Snow White movie as a reference image, which I already downloaded in my device. Once all the settings are applied click generate. You can clearly see on the screen, it has given an outstanding image in a Disney Pixar style. For upscaling the image, you can use HD crisp upscale option, it will take 5 credits but trust me it's worth it. Repeat this process for other shots too. After spending some time these are how my shots came out. Alright, let's get these images to life. We're going to use a cool tool called Pika Labs to make our images come to life. Here's what you need to do, visit the Pika Labs website and join their beta program. It's a bit like a secret club for making videos. Once you're in, you'll find a bunch of rooms where you can work your video making magic. But there's a lot of action in those rooms, and it's easy to get lost. So, I've got a trick for you. Open a private chat with the Pika bot. Just right-click on it in the top right corner and select message. This way, you'll see only your own creations. Now, to start making your video, type forward slash and select animate. You can upload the image you made with Leonardo. Then comes the fun part, writing a prompt. It's like giving instructions to make your video special. I like to use a template just like we did with the images. Start with who or what's in the video, describe what's happening, and end with the style you want. Next, there are a few values to fill in. Don't worry, I'll make it simple. The first one is negative prompt. In this section you can add the things that you don't want to add in your scene. For this scene I don't want any deformed images in my video, so I added deformed images in negative prompt. After that comes FPS, which means frames per second. It's like how fast your video plays. You can choose a number between 8 and 24. More frames make it smoother, but too many can mess things up. For this scene I will go with 16 frames per second. Then comes camera movement. In this section you can type pan left, pan right, camera zoom in, zoom out or any other movement. For this scene I will go with camera zoom in option. 
Then, there's something called motion. You can pick a number between 0 and 4. High number provides a lot of motion and low number provides less motion. For this video I will go with motion value 1. And finally, there's something called a seed number. Think of it like a secret code that decides how your video turns out. You can choose any random number for this. If you use the same number again without changing anything in your prompt, your video will be exactly the same. But if you use a different number, you'll get a little twist in your video. It's like adding a pinch of spice to your creation. Now hit enter. It will take some time and here is how my first scene came out. Repeat this process for other scenes too and save all those in your device. Creating voiceover for your trailer. Revoicer is a very good premium tool for voiceover. Simply head on towards their website and sign in. I have already copy pasted my script from ChatGPT in a docs file. So I will simply copy paste the script from docs to Revoicer tool. You can select any character you want from the left panel. Also don't forget to choose the talking style of your character. You can choose any style you want. For this trailer I would go with a hopeful style. Canva is the best tool so far for compiling videos. So, head straight towards Canva. Create a YouTube video chapter template. Then, upload your scenes into Canva. As you can see on screen I have already designed scenes and are already uploaded in Canva. After that, drop all the scenes into Canva and upload the voiceover generate from Revoicer. After uploading the voiceover, simply go ahead and adjust the playback time of each scene according to your voiceover. This will help you synchronize the story with voice. The last step would be to add music according to your trailer. So for that, simply go ahead and select the music you want and drop it in the working bar. Once that is done, select the volume and fix the fade in and fade out option for your music. After you are satisfied simply go ahead and download the video in MP4 format. Remember the trailer that you would create might come out in a low quality. So, to upscale the video up to 2K, 4K or even more, I used a premium tool known as Topaz AI. This is a photo and video enhancement software powered by deep learning that gets you the best image quality available for noise reduction, sharpening, upscaling and much more. After upscaling my trailer this is how my trailer came out. In a world of magic and wonder, where even the smallest things can be extraordinary, an incredible adventure awaits. Meet Snow White, a girl with a heart as pure as the driven snow, and her seven loyal friends who are a force of nature. But be aware, a wicked queen will stop at nothing to claim the throne. A curse is cast, and a single bite could change everything. Snow White's fate lies in the true friendship of her prince. Snow White and the Enchanted Forest is coming soon to theaters. Disney invites you to a world where dreams come true. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more awesome content like this. See you in the next video. Bye.